Wi-Fi Sheep would like to say a huge thank you to all of you that kindly support us. Help us continue to bring new videos like this. Join patreon.com forward slash Wi-Fi Sheep from just $1 a month. Hello and welcome back to youtube.com forward slash Wi-Fi Sheep with me, Tom. And a huge hello and welcome to all the new viewers and subscribers that have joined us since the last video. That, of course, was the unboxing review of the new Orange Pi 800 all-in-one ARM desktop computer. Basically, a clone of the already established Raspberry Pi 400. Naturally, there has been a huge amount of interest in this and the results were very surprising. The system is actually very good and very usable which given Orange Pi's track record, even I was shocked. But it did lead to a few questions, mainly about the eMMC and how to reinstall an OS. Well, today in this video, I might have some answers for you. We've also got a little bit more news about a possible follow-up release for the Orange Pi 800. However, before we continue, do you have a need for reliable and cost-effective web hosting for your blog, business or personal website? If so, then look no further than CheapHost UK. CheapHost UK's basic plan starts from only 58 pence per month. That's 6 dollars a year. Say goodbye to unreliable hosting and support. CheapHost UK was built not only to provide reliable hosting, but also to provide customers with a support system every day of the year. And if you're needing a little bit more, CheapHost UK's premium packages start from £1.41 per month or £16.99 a year, complete with a free .co.uk domain. And all websites are secured by a SSL certificate. New customers can also take advantage of an extra 10% discount when purchasing any first-time hosting package or domain name from CheapHost UK. Use discount code SHEEP, that's S-H-E-E-P, to get an extra 10% off. For reliable, cost-effective web hosting and domains, look no further than Cheap Host UK. Full details and an affiliate link are in the description to this video. Now, a huge thanks to one of my colleagues from the commercial retail side of our hobby for passing this on to me. I won't say who it was, but they did a bit of digging on Twitter. See, they noticed the Orange Pi 800 has brightness controls on the function keys. So speculated about what these could be used for, considering the product does not come with a display. So they reached out to Orange Pi and got this response. And yeah, well, first prize there in the state, the obvious competition. However, not giving up, they tried again. And this time, Orange Pi slipped. There is going to be an official display module for the Orange Pi 800, which opens up even more questions. Could we be looking at some kind of, I don't know, battery operated laptop dock? Or maybe it's just going to be a clip on LCD display. Either way, it's going to be really interesting to find out. And again, a huge thanks to my colleague for passing that on to me. So after my review video, one of the other major questions that kept arising was about the availability of operating systems and if you could reflash the eMMC if necessary. If you remember from the last video, Orange Pi 800 has 64 gigabytes of onboard flash storage used to host an operating system, meaning unlike Raspberry Pi products, you don't need an SD card to boot the machine up. Well, I think I have an answer to both of these questions. So if we head over to orangepie.org and you can already see here at the time of recording they're actually advertising the Orange Pi 5 which is their next generation board coming out. We're interested in the Orange Pi 800 but if we click over here there's service and downloads and you click downloads it'll then ask you for a download search for the product but then if you scroll down you'll actually see they have all the uh, products that they support and make currently and over here you'll have the Orange Pi 800 which we can click and this will actually give you software downloads so an Ubuntu image and Debian image 
as well as a couple of other things such as some official tools, user manuals, Linux source code, etc. So if I want to download, let's say I want to download this Debian image, I'll click download and it takes me to a Google Drive. And if I click files, it will allow me to download and we'll download anyway. This is a compressed file, so that'll come down. It's 818 megabytes, but it is a compressed file. So that should come down relatively quickly. Okay, so now it's downloaded. Uh, we've got it here as a, a .7 file, so we should be able to uncompress that. I'm actually doing it on a Mac, by the way, but you can do this on a PC or Linux system. It should work pretty much the same. Okay, that's created a folder, and inside that folder, We've got a .img uh, disk image coming in at just shy of four gigabytes. So what we'll do now is I'm going to put a micro SD card into my card reader. Uh, a bit of luck that will show up. Probably got something on it, but that's fine. That's not a problem. We're just going to wipe over the top. So now what we're going to do is we're going to use a program called Belina Etcher that we've used before. You can get this from Mac, PC, and Linux. And we're going to flash from a file. And on desktop, that's going to be this IMG file. Select the target. In this case, it's going to be a card reader. Select. And now we're going to flash. So it's wanting privileges because I'm on a Mac. So we'll just put my password in. There we go. And that's now starting to flash and hopefully that won't take too long. It'll also probably do a checksum verification check and then that should hopefully flash this Orange Pi OS via the Debian Linux to the SD card and we can try it on the real hardware. So here is the Orange Pi 800. Let's just put the video cable in. I can't get over the uh, novelty factor of being able to put full size HDMI lead straight in. There we go. That's looking good. And then let's, for the first time, let's see if this Debian Linux SD card actually works. So the SD card slot is there. Okay, that's now in. Right, let's switch sources, power up, and see what happens. Okay, there we go. It had me then, I was getting worried for a minute. <laughs> now the question is, is this the SD card? Or is this the eMMC? Because these are all official Orange Pi branded Linux distros, it's not necessarily that obvious. It does seem to be taking a little bit longer to boot, so I reckon this might actually be the uh, Debian. Okay, there we are. Okay, yes, this is definitely Debian because it hasn't remembered my network settings. And interestingly, it's actually got a a boot partition, Remo removable volume not yet mounted. There is the 64-bit, uh, 64-bit, 64, 64 gigabyte uh, eMMC. So this is running off an SD card, and I have to say it's it's notably slower actually. Interestingly, this did you have one on Chrome? No, the other the other one had uh, Firefox. This has got Chrome browser because I'm not actually connected to anything at the moment, so I won't be able to test that. Anyway, what I wanted to see was is it possible, is there a sort of like a flash, a tool for flashing this to the eMMC? If there isn't, let's see if this will work. So if you go into terminal, and I just need to refer to my notes here so I know what I'm doing. And if we try sudo slash usr slash sbin slash nand dash sata sata dash install. 
and it will ask for the password which should be orange pie Ah, and there we are. So this gives you the option to install and update the bootloader on the SD or boot from the EMC system. So if I said to install update, there you go. And it would say this script will update the bootloader on the SDC continue. So this is the tool for flashing from the SD card to the eMMC if you happen to corrupt damage or I don't know wipe your eMMC Linux build uh, you can actually reinstall it with one of the images from the Orange Pie website uh, I'm not going to do it because I don't want to wipe the um, Ubuntu system the stock Ubuntu that this came shipped with but that's actually how you do it and that works so that kind of means that one we can run off SD cards if we want to but it also means we've got the confidence uh, that if we do for whatever reason mess something up on the Orange Pi 800 we can actually reflash the uh, EMMC with another operating system so I could if I wanted to switch this over to Debian uh, I'm more used to Debian than I am Ubuntu I know there's virtually nothing between them they're both Linux systems that work almost identically I think it's because everything I've used including the Raspberry Pi Raspbian operating systems and things like Diet Pi, uh, Armbria and things like that have always used Debian as the base. So it is possible if I wanted to, I could switch over to Debian and we could use that. But there you are. So it means we can actually use this in confidence that if we do mess up the eMMC side of things, you can hopefully quite simply and easily reflash and restore your system's operating system. So it's looking very good for the Orange Pi 800, with many of the major issues seeming to be resolved. As mentioned before, it is looking to be a really usable computing system. And I'm sure we will see third party support for this hardware soon. So look out for a Ambient and maybe even a Diet Pi Linux image for this device in the coming months. Anyway, before I go, and if you're watching in October 2022, a quick but final reminder. On November the 5th and 6th, 2022, I'm back exhibiting at the Cambridge Retro Computing Festival. This time it's a fully open and packed event showcasing all things computing and gaming. It really is a great day out, such an amazing show, and I really enjoy meeting so many of you in person. This year, it looks like it's going to be really packed, not only with visitors, but also exhibitors. For full details, see events.wifisheep.co.uk. That's events.wifisheep.co.uk. And if you want to support me and this channel, you can by joining as a channel member via YouTube by clicking the join button. A huge hello and thank you to The Imp, 67 who has done just that tiers and prices are on screen now or alternatively you can become a patron backer by visiting patreon.com forward slash wi-fi sheep that's patreon.com forward slash wi-fi sheep all members and patron backers are on screen now and again a huge personal thank you to you all you're all truly awesome people if you haven't done so already, please do consider liking and subscribing. And as always, thank you so much for your company. And I will see you real soon, right here on the channel. Until next time, bye for now.